sick. Okay. It's too early. Okay, blunt currants. <sighs> well, I, uh, I just got back from uh, the hotel gym. I wasn't really feeling too well. Not too long ago. I guess I'm feeling a little bit better. It's feeling like I'm like super anxious and shit. It's like this place is a box or I don't know. Like I didn't have enough like human interaction today or I don't know. I feel I just I feel really anxious. Like I don't know, like I didn't <clears throat> I didn't do enough work today. I think I'm not maybe I'm not used to uh not really used to being away from the studio, you know. Well, so I woke up this morning and my car was towed. So I'm walking to the shoot. Uh, luckily, it was only like a half mile away from where I'm staying. So. By themselves? <laughs> yeah, just a baby. <laughs> to go and check out this building at 11 but uh dude says he's busy until 12 30 so i guess now i'm just gonna go grab a coffee and kind of make some calls do all the things that i really don't enjoy doing in a day in English. Please stay up on the line. If not, say no. No. Not anymore. You got me thinking about like adjustment periods. It's like how, how I, as I've gotten older, I'm like more set in my ways or, or more, I guess, preferential. Like it's harder, it's harder and harder to adjust to like new things. You know, I used to harp, <clears throat> Harp on my like parents about that, especially like, well yeah, but both of my parents. It's like the how hard it is to you, not just like understand new things, but just like want anything new. I don't know. I don't know if that's complacency or yeah. I don't know. I feel uh, I feel confused right now. I do feel a bit better after getting out of the room and working out a bit. I didn't work out too hard. I, I'm gonna do some jits in the morning. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to. I'm gonna take a cold shower and see how I feel after. coffee and I was gonna hang out in there for a bit but I'm not feeling like everyone's being all weird you know? maybe it's just me so one thing about downtown is you gotta like constantly like watch where you're stepping mm -hmm. not fuck someone on the other side they're across the street Wow. 
What, is it illuminated? Yeah. Wow. That's, that's, that's awesome. 600 pounds, that's it. Uh, what are you looking for? Come around, I can see what they do. Yeah, they just have to was all right and it's like a little worried about it's, it's i mean like it just it was remodeled just like con concerned about the construction aspect it was like a little dusty in there probably gonna pass on it but i was a little disappointed there wasn't um, I, don't know, I, I thought i thought uh, there's gonna be like concrete floors and walls do you have any changes in medical medical conditions uh no Well, I feel a bit, I feel better. I mean, uh, the temperature is not exactly like a cold plunge, but it does help with, you know, it gives me like a head change. It helps me like regulate like breathing and like getting my, you know, feeling my heart, like feeling my heart rate being okay with it <clears throat> maybe I could speak better now <sighs> yeah, I don't know I, uh, today has been weird <clears throat> no sometimes I sometimes I forget like how codependent I once was and and how those, some of those things can like creep up. Well, they are like, you know, they still exist. Like they're not like fully, I haven't like fully dealt with it. You know, I know many of you probably come here to hear about art and process. And well, I guess this is, I guess this is it. You know, this is, this is, this is my process. pressure it's weird how like it's harder it's it's it feels harder for me to be open with like like the camera which it, it wasn't like that before but like you know I've seen I've been seeing a therapist for like a, a year now and I mean I, I guess that's her job too you know like to let it be known that it's a safe space to say whatever it is that I like I want to say or you know whatever I need to get off my chest or to speak about so that like doesn't sit and like uh you know produce shame or maybe this is different because I know that people are going to see this and uh yeah I don't know it, it's it's weird it's like it's like one thing to you know show like your friends and family you know who you are and it's another thing to show people like who you have no idea what they think of you and, and then I, I guess that's like the that's like the real issue right it's like why why do I why do people why do we care that much like why do we care so much as to like what someone thinks when we don't know them and half the time that's like our, our own projections our own that's like maybe that's what I think of myself and I know and I'm saying that other people are going to think about that or th think of me uh, the same way. <clears throat> Maybe it's these freaking neon lights. You know, if this is good content, I just, uh, you know, I promised, I promised, you know, I promised everyone that, you know, I'd be candid and, you know, try not to polish things and, Kind of like steer someone's view of, you know, contr control what they see of me. Like, well, you know, what, what, what if I show people everything? You know, 
I think sometimes I think like, <clears throat> you know, if, if you show, you know, if you show everything, if you show people like, I don't know, maybe like weakness or like maybe even like the, their perceived ideas of weakness. It's like, yo, they're not going to want to fuck with you anymore. I don't know, I, I guess that's something I gotta like mull over. It's like, I, I ain't trying to fuck with people like that anyway. <sighs> I mean, I think. 